Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Let us uh, start this lecture with the thought process, a tiny spark can cause a mighty fire. So, uh, in the last lecture we basically initiate uh, a discussion how to derive a uh, relationship for burning velocity by considering a one dimensional laminar steady flame right. and we have made the assumptions and I will just repeating some of these things that is one uh, dimensional steady inviscid laminar flow and flame is quite thin and uh, no heat loss including radiation idea is gas law can be used single step chemistry model uh, we will be using and uh, of course, unity Lewis number and constant properties uh, we will be considering right. And uh, if you look at what we will be doing, we will be basically looking at uh, the all this mass conservation equations for our case right. So, let us consider the mass conservation. mass conservation equation for the one dimensional steady flow what it would be it would be nothing but your by d x rho v x if i say in the x direction only right is equal to 0 right and let us say this is equation 1 the momentum conservation for one dimensional steady inviscid laminar flow that would be rho v x d v x d x minus d p by d x because the viscous term is not there and uh, it is a steady flow right equation 2. And species conservation and we will be considering the single step chemistry right. So, if you look at single step chemistry model that is fuel is reacting with the new uh, moles of oxidizer going to new plus 1 of product right. That means, I am having uh, fuel oxidizer and product I will have to having uh, I will have to invoke 3 equation basically one is for the fuel is rho v x, v x is the velocity along the x direction and the mass fraction of fuel d y by d x is equal to rho d uh, square y f by d x square plus f right this is basically diffusion term like mass diffusion and this is your source term mass uh, for fuel mass uh, can conjunction of fuel per unit volume and this is of course, your convection term. Right. And this is equation 3 similarly oxidizer rho v x D is the diff mass diffusivity.
and uh, the product will be rho v x d product x is equal to rho d square plus m dot triple dash product so 4 is a 5. And similarly, we can write down the energy equation. Rho V x C P T D x is equal to K G D square by D x square plus and i h f i not is not it this basically i is equal to 1 to n that in this case n will be 3 fuel oxidizer and the product. And uh, if you look at if you want to solve these things you need to have a boundary condition right what are the boundary condition you are having that x is equal to minus infinity let me draw that because if i look at this is my flame x so uh, my flame would be like this is minus infinity this is plus infinity right and if i take a maybe temperature profile to illust illustrate this point right it will be this is tf this is tu right and what happens to here at minus infinity the gradient this will be d t by d x is equal to 0 and similarly here d t by d x is equal to 0 here no, yes or no. So, I can write down that this is basically uh, infinity t is equal to t u and uh, d t by d x is equal to 0 x infinity t is equal to t f d t by d x is equal to 0 right. And if you look at like uh, we will have to now consider uh, how to because these are coupled equations right and it is also non-linear in nature because the term is source term is the non-linear right. So, oh, what we will have to do we will have to see that simplified and uh, let us look at the mass conservation by considering equation 1 that is mass conservation right what I can then I can um, integrate that and uh, that is rho v x by d x is equal to 0 that if I integrate it. equation 1 I can get basically rho v x right is equal to constant is equal to mass flux is not it mass flux remaining constant for one day and that is equal to if I say this is S L right that means this flow which will be taking place is basically nothing but your rho u s l right because the fluid which will be fuel plus air in our case I am considering or mixture will be moving with what same velocity that of the burning velocity are you getting then that is nothing but rho u s l yes or no. So, <coughs> this uh, we will be using that uh, later on let us say this is equation uh, if you consider that this will be 6 I guess right is it right this 6 this will be 
seventh. And let us look at the momentum equation. momentum equation right uh, okay. by integrating momentum equation that is uh, 2 right between station uh, 1 and 2, let us say I am saying this is station 1 and this is let us say station 2 something you know away. If I will do that what I will get? I can get this is if I you know integrate this equation what I will get? I will get rho v x square right into the station 1 to 2 is equal to d p of course, this will be minus 1 to 2 right. I can write down that whatever we have done already I think let me write down that is rho v x square I can say 2 2 minus rho 1 v x square 1 is equal to p 1 minus p 2 right. So, if I I mean I have already done for when we are talking about detonation or when we are talking about combustion wave analysis right. That is nothing but here I can say rho square 2 v x 2 square is equal to 1 by rho 2 minus 1 by rho 1 right. Can I not write that in this is not it because I am taking rho 2 rho 2 here multiplied by there that things right. And considering that that is rho 1 v x 1 is equal to rho 2 v x 2 from the continuity from equation 7. So, is equal to p 1 minus p 2. or I can write down this is nothing but your rho u s l whole square into 1 by rho 2 minus rho 1 is equal to p 1 minus p 2. We will substitute some values right. So, how what will be the difference between these two uh, you know uh, pressure between station 1 and station 2 is it a very big quantity or a small quantity. Let us uh, consider the uh, for methane air laminar flame, right? And phi is equal to one. I will consider S L as zero point four centimeter. Now zero point four meter per second basically 40 centimeter per second 0.4 meter per second and rho u I can take as 1.12 kg per meter cube density. I have taken air, but it depends on that, but it may be some order of that. Okay. <coughs> now, if you look at rho 2 which is nothing but rho 1 in this case right and um, rho 2 by rho 1 is equal to T 1 by T 2 from the ideal gas law keeping that pressure is remaining constant, but for the time being. But now what will be this is let us say T 1 T 1 is 300 Kelvin and T 2 will be adiabatic temperature I am considering what will be that 2200 Kelvin. Okay. If I consider that 300 divided by 2200 Kelvin, it is coming something 1363. Uh, and similarly, the density 2 will be 153 kg per meter cube. Now, if I substitute this, I can say equation 8, 
substituting the values the above values in equation 8 we can get what is that p 1 minus p 2 will be rho 1.12 into s l is 0 0.4 whole square 1 by 0 0.153 minus 1 by 1.12 you will get is a very very low value you will get that is something 1.128 Pascal. And if you look at what is P 1? P 1 is 101325 Pascal as compared to the pressure right the p 1 minus p 2 is very very small is quite small as compared to p 1. If I take atmospheric pressure, if I take higher pressure it may be little bit more, but however this is very small. Therefore, pressure it implies pressure remains constant across 1 d steady laminar flame. Therefore, there is no need to consider the momentum equation, momentum equation is basically turns to be 0 right yes or no. If I say that means, my momentum equation, my momentum equation is rho v a x dv x by dx minus dp by dx and this happens to be 0 right there is no need really to consider the change in pressure is across the x is very very 0. So, this is 0. So, therefore, there is no need to consider the momentum equation. So, <coughs> what we will be now considering is basically we will be considering the uh, energy equation and finding out a relationship for bending velocity right. <coughs> so, let us now uh, write down the energy equation. Energy conservation equation this is equation is what number 6 as I can write down this as C p I am taking out because C p is a constant we are considering constant properties right. So, d t uh, by d x is equal to k g d t x by d x square plus summation of m dot triple dash i so this equation we need to basically solve it so that you can have uh, you know relations for that and keep in mind that m dash is equal to nothing but rho u s l that already we have uh, derived. <coughs> now, uh, this is basically a second order nonlinear equation right and it is having two unknown this is a uh, you know second order nonlinear equation O d ordinary differential equation right. And it is uh, basically having two unknowns right, what are the two unknowns? One is mass flux is not known right, of course, you do not know the temperature, but we will see how to and we will also the flame thickness, this is flame thickness is not known. 
it is similar to your boundary layer theory and where you know you can basically two unknown and four boundary conditions has to be satisfied and it is a eigen value problem. So, you can look at this eigen uh, values are m dot uh, double dash and delta is the flame thickness right. And uh, we will be uh, looking at uh, basically solving this equation either we can use a linear velocity profile and then try to solve it and considering the physical phenomena into consideration right. Because we have seen that uh, in the preheat zone there is not much reaction is taking place that means there is not much heat release is occurring. Whereas, in the reaction zone we will have to also uh, use some approximations that is the convection would not be very much predominant. Right, if you look at I take this as a ignition temperature right T ignition and uh, this is my x this is basically minus infinity this is x is equal to plus infinity and this point is T ignition hmm. and this is your T f this is your T u. Before uh, venturing into that what I will consider like let us look at this term how to handle this terms right. And for that we will consider the single step chemistry model. F reacting with new moles of 1 moles of fuel reacting with new moles of oxidizer getting into new plus 1 moles of product. And by uh, this uh, what you call law of mass action we know F is equal to triple dash oxidizer divided by nu is equal to minus m dot triple dash product nu plus 1. This I can call it as a equation 7 I can say 9 right. So, <coughs> now let us look at this term m dot triple dash i h f i naught is equal to triple dash f h f f oxidizer h f oxidizer plus triple dash product h f product. Now, I will just substitute these values as you know I will use this equation 9 I can write down f h f f there is no problem, but here I will substitute that is nu m dot triple dash f right h f oxidizer plus product wise I will uh, this will be basically minus triple dash f nu plus 1 h f product naught are you getting my point ok. So, just I am using equation 9 for each of the you know mass uh, conjunction of oxidizer for you know you need volume in terms of mass conjunction of fuel for unit volume right. So, I can write down this as f as h I can uh, basically I can write down this as product minus h f f naught minus nu h f or oh, no no no.
mu h f right so this minus i have taken and this is nothing but your i can say delta h r isn't it i can write down that as or triple dash f into delta s c because heat of reaction for the exothermic will be negative so negative negative positive so this is a heat of combustion are you getting i can write down that so now for the we will be considering this equation 6 right for the preheat zone if you look at this is uh, basically i can say this is my heat release rate and this zone I am considering as my pre heat zone and this portion I can consider as a my reaction zone right. So, for pre heat zone what we will consider for preheat zone the uh, heat release is very very low right that means this term m dot triple dash sorry the heat release rate is very very zero very very small that means f delta s c is approximately equal to 0 it is not 0 it is approximately equal to 0 that means we are considering it to be 0. So, as a result what you will get you will get a relationship that means this will be 0 in this case. So, I will get equation 6 becomes C p d t by d x is equal to k g d t by d x square right because this term is 0. Now, I will have to solve this thing what are the boundary condition here? The boundary condition is x minus infinity d t by d x is equal to 0 and t is equal to t u and x is equal to x x ignition this is the one t is equal to t ignition are you getting t ignition. <coughs> so, if I integrate this equation let us say this is 10. equation 10 what I will get I will get <coughs> that uh, this basically I will integrate this equation and applying boundary condition we can have C p t ignition minus T u left hand side right I will what I will do I will say d x here d x here integrate it right and this will be from T uh, ignition to T u and this is also uh, you can say that d t d x ignition to d t by d x uh, is equal to minus infinity. So, that will be equal to 
k g, k g is a constant property. So, d t by d x is ignition minus k g d t by d x at x is equal to minus infinity, this is 0. So, therefore, uh, I am getting d t by d x ignition is equal to m dot c p by k g t ignition minus t q. So, we are getting an expression for this the preheat zone and we will stop over here and in the next lecture we will be discussing about rest of the derivation for getting the laminar burning velocity. Okay, thank you very much.